Hey guys, welcome back to the app. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Google Play Store transaction was declined error or FGEMF20. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. Now, how do you fix this issue here? Well, fixing this issue can be kind of tricky, but there's a few things that you can try here to try fixing this issue. So first is you want to make sure that your addresses that is connected to your card is actually up to date. In this case, what we need to do is we need to open up Google Play Store here. And from here, you want to go ahead and open up your profile to top right. Now from here, you want to go to payments and subscriptions and you want to click on payment edits. Now click on more payment settings at the very bottom here and click on the browser that you want to use. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to log in into your account if you if they actually prompt you to log in. But once you're logged in, go ahead and click on the three bar icon at the top left here. And from here, you want to go to addresses and make sure that your addresses is up to date. Now, if your address does not match with your card, in this case, you might encounter this issue. Now, another thing that you could try here is to basically contact the payment provider. So depending on your bank, you might need to contact their support and basically ask them if your account was being blocked on a specific purchase. Now, sometimes banks may actually enforce uh, blocking a specific transaction on a specific entity. So contacting their support can actually solve this issue. So they will they can actually temporarily lift the uh, block or the uh, specific blocking feature that block, blocks your transaction here on Google Play Store. Now, another thing that you could do here is to basically remove and re-add your card. Sometimes just removing it, removing them and re-adding them into your account can solve a lot of issues. So in case you want to go ahead and open up Google Play Store here, same thing, you want to go to payment methods and basically you could go ahead and remove your payment method in here. But once you've done that, you could go and click on add credit or debit card here. Go ahead and provide the card details. That includes the card number, the card holder name, expiration date, security code, and the billing address for this one. But in this case, once you provide all the details, you could go ahead and proceed on using it again and see if that solves the issue. But in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.